How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel and my video of the CX-20 and the transformation of it uh, becoming a DJI Phantom. I have my DJI Phantom props installed on it as you can see here as well as the DJI Phantom landing legs, the extended landing legs. It doesn't fit as good as it fits on the SEMA X8, but uh, it does have one hole that uh, I can screw it onto the body. So both sides just has one hole attached to it, but it does fit and it does uh, stand pretty good. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to install a cheap aluminum gimbal onto the uh, existing anti-vibration mount on the CX-20 that comes with the CX-20. Now, uh, I've watched a video by this guy on YouTube. Uh, his name is uh, Ryan Rue uh, with an X at the end. And uh, his video is titled, How I Installed a Cheap 2-Axis Gimbal on my Cheerson CX-20. And it is very detailed and very uh, instructive. So I watched that video and if he can do it, I can do it, and if I can do it, uh, you can do it as well. So let's go and put the cheap aluminum gimbal on the CX-20. Okay, first I made a little splice of two, uh, I believe these are called male. Hmm, I don't know if this, uh, these are called male or female, but uh, I joined two of them together and soldered the wires on, and I'm going to tape it together so I don't have to cut the uh, actual wire off of the um, the gimbal itself uh, so I can just attach this one right onto it and here's the finished product okay so the provided uh, camera uh, velcro strap for the um, GoPro camera uh, does not fit on the Xiaomi Yi camera so I just used a battery strap and wrapped it around the opposite side uh, works pretty good it's pretty sturdy uh, just you just have to press hard and it still works as you can see it lights up and then for the recording button it still works good okay I got my little extension cable connected to the, uh, the G plus 12 volt um, socket right there so let's see if it works Let's power the quadcopter. Oops, sorry about that. And let's plug in our gimbal with this plug right here. Black, black, red, red. All right. Looks like it works pretty good. It's already holding steady. Yeah, the gimbal works fine. Okay, I've removed the base plate from the gimbal just by squeezing the rubbers and taking this uh, back out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, attach this base gimbal right onto the existing uh, provided anti-jello mount that the CX-20 came with. Okay, so I've attached the, the bottom plate of the gimbal onto the anti-jello mount that comes with the CX-20. I took it off the CX-20 so I can work with it uh, close up instead of messing around with the quadcopter. So I took the uh, existing uh, or the given little screws that come with the gimbal and was able to uh, put it together just like Ryan. And this is how it looks like. It's very sturdy, it's not going to come off. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and attach this to the quad cutter now. We are just about done. The base plate and the original um, anti-vibration mount has been uh, attached to the quad cutter. So all we got left is to attach the gimbal onto the quad cutter base plate. Okay, I got it all hooked up. And I also attached the, uh, the camera as well. And for good measure, 
I also put a couple of zip ties in each corner, one on this corner on the, um, the rubber anti-jello mount, um, just in case that falls off during a crash or something, and put one on the opposite corner so it doesn't, uh, the gimbal doesn't fall off. And I've got my wire already um, attached. All we gotta do is power it up and see if it works. So let's try that. Okay, I got my power hooked up uh, for the gimbal to the uh, CX-20. Now all we gotta do is uh, power up that one wire that controls the, uh, the pitch of the gimbal. So like Ryan says, all you need is one wire from the provided, um, provided wires. So you can peel off this one wire and I chose blue as well. So let's hook that up. Okay, I've attached the, the pitch wire to the gimbal's upper left uh, port. Okay, I got the other end of the wire um, plugged into the upper left port for the auxiliary one control of the transmitter via the CX-20. Okay, all the wires are hooked up. Everything is ready to go. Now let's see. Let's power up the quadcopter and see if everything is working correctly. Now all I need to do is plug this in and everything will automatically uh, work. Okay, the gimbal looks pretty straight. Okay, let's test it out. Yep, it's working pretty good. Okay, let me get my uh, transmitter and we'll test the, uh, the pitch. Okay, I've got my transmitter here now. So let's power up the transmitter. Oh, look at that. The gimbal is already responding to the transmitter's position. Let's turn it. Yep. Now the pitch works good too. Now I can pan down if I want to. And I can pan up. Oh my God. The control is very sensitive, however. So it's very hard to control just a small amount. Oh my goodness. Okay, right there. Stop. Okay. All right. Uh, now all I got to do is uh, go outside and test it out.